Uh, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're probably asking a few questions. Why is this guy stupid? Um, why is he going normal fishing in the middle of winter? It's about, I don't know how warm it is. Let me check. It is 31 degrees. Um, I got some warmer clothes I gotta throw on. Um, I'm mainly probably gonna be going for pike because last night I came here and I did a little casting. Um, this is my last spot that has, that has no ice on it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw on some warmer clothes and then we'll get down there and do some fishing. It's feeling a lot better. Um, gonna come over here, grab the rods out right now. I have a Rapala and a ch uh, crankbait on. Um, usually when it's cold like this, uh, plastics don't really work for me. Um, for bass fishing at least. Well, I mean, that's the only reason you use a plastic really. Other than I guess you could bluegill fish with it. But, um, I think we're going to mainly be going for pike today. If I got a bass that bites a Rapala or the Chatterbait, I'll be happy. But, I don't know, this is going to be interesting. No guarantees if we even catch a fish. Um, like I said, it's right, like this is the last spot I have that doesn't have ice on it. And we're like right between duck, wait, duck hunting. I don't know why I said duck hunting. I know why I said duck Oh, just took off. That's why I said duck hunting. There's some ducks over there. Look at it. Thin layer of ice right here. I don't know if you guys can really see that well. So, yeah, um, it's cold. But we're going to see if we can catch fish. This is probably my last fishing trip before um, ice fishing. And the only reason I'm doing it is because deer season's over. And there's nothing else to do. So, yeah, I'm going to get my stuff set up. And then start fishing. See you guys on the GoPro. Okay, so this is my pike rod. I just use it. It's a real tree rod. This is my bass rod. The uh, bass X, um, uh, what do they call it? St. Croix. Almost forgot the name of it. So I'm gonna throw this thing for a while. It's been pretty good for pike. I think it's like one for one. I threw it at once. I caught a pike. So we'll see what we can do. Call the first cast, and then after that, I'll probably just get back to you guys. Last night I came here. I caught a fish first cast. I caught a pike. So we're gonna have to see. I can see the it's gotta go way deep it is really deep here so maybe i'll end up throwing a spoon i don't know might end up throwing a spoon i'm gonna throw this for a little bit and i'll let you guys know if we get any action so yeah um it soon we're gonna be ice fishing hopefully last year we didn't barely get to ice fish um I think I went out once. Um, we just didn't have good ice. But this year, I really want to start get back into pike spear. And I used to pike spear a lot when I was younger. But I kind of lost interest for a while. And uh, yeah, this year I want to get back into it because it is a fun sport. I think I'm going to switch this up. I think I'm going to throw the, um, the spoon on. So, yeah, I'm going to get my backpack cracked open and grab the spoon. As you guys can see, the spoon's been bit up a bit. When I used it, last time I used it, I was in the UP. And I think I bought it there, which is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So, I'm going to get these two switched out. Old Trusty, Red Daredevil, tied on. Favorite part about this lure is this. Freaking cast it 10 miles literally cast it so far i'm gonna be honest guys this is gonna be a luck game because i mean it is freezing cold we'll see i mean pike spear is good in the winter i mean that's the only time you do it so i don't see why uh bike wouldn't bite a big old huge red spoon um i have not seen a single fish this spot's really good, but I think all the fish are really out deep because this lake is very, very deep. It gets very deep. I've not seen any fish off this drop-off. It drops off quick, too. 
like boom there's 20 feet right there which is my favorite spot really um at least in the summer and i was thinking about kayak fishing but i don't know if i want to go why would i go kayak fishing in the middle of winter like it is january 4th right now there's really no point for me to be out here fishing um there's just nothing else to do so we're out here giving it a shot so you know what we could do if we're lucky maybe i get a fish but i'll see you guys if i have any action and it is the middle of the day it is 150 uh don't worry about my jonas outdoors wallpaper and it's 31 degrees so yeah it is cold it's not your normal fishing weather but <coughs> apparently i'm not your normal fisherman because i am also a little bit sick so if i sound weird that's why um but i'm bundled up we're staying safe out here so i'm just gonna keep fishing see what i can catch probably nothing but we'll see okay update this thing is not working um for now i'm gonna string this up come over here the only downside with this one i don't have a leader tied on but we're gonna give the old rapala a shot in spring this was the best color here um so, yeah, we're going to see what we can do. This this rod's a little bit more different. It's kind of, I kind of just like using it for, a, um, for like, a, um, artificials rod, but, or like not an artificial rod, but freaking plastics is what I usually run. It's got a really light tip. It's got braid to fluorocarbon. So, we're just going to have to see. What we can do the reel is so much smoother than that other one holy cow got no kuma i believe unless that's not the name i forget it's been so long yeah it's okuma um so yeah let's see what i can do with this thing bring it in i know some people get crazy with their stick baits like do one of them i haven't really messed with that much i know that's what my brother does while he's trout fishing. And maybe in the future, maybe next spring, I'll do some trout fishing videos. Because I'm in, like, the best trout area. One of the best trout areas in the country, honestly. So, probably take advantage of that. Okay, so I'm really hoping that the lakes start freezing here soon. Because I don't want to be doing this, really. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be much different if I was up out, out there on the ice. But it would be a little bit different. But here's the bad news. There's good news and bad news. It's going to be cold. The bad news is there's going to be snow soon. Um, next week, there's supposed to be a snowstorm, um, which is bad for ice. But the good thing about snowstorm for me is that the ski resorts are going to start opening. And if you guys didn't watch last year, I did do a little bit of skiing stuff, at least in the shorts. I might make some full videos. I definitely will make a full video. And I promise you guys that I'll make a full video. Of skiing um but yeah i mean hopefully the ice starts uh you know forming here in michigan i know up in minnesota they're already ice fishing and if it don't, if we don't get ice down here um i was talking to my dad and we're probably gonna have to go up north a little bit further even though we're in northern michigan we're pretty far <coughs> oh, sorry guys we're pretty far up um we're not quite in the up but we are pretty northern um so yeah if we do get ice so i 100 percent if we get good ice we'll be making some good uh ice fishing videos and spike spinning videos at least some pike spinning videos and uh yeah i guess i'm just gonna keep casting for a little while like i said it's the middle of the day so who really knows so we'll see uh yeah hopefully um we get ice soon because if it doesn't snow and it stays cold, so who really knows if the snowstorms are really gonna hit? They're probably gonna hit, but um, the weatherman has had a history of being wrong. So if we don't get snow, then I'm gonna be ice fishing right out there, and I might put a pike's, uh, I might even put a pike spear and sh shanty right there because um, I've seen some. 
I was bass fishing here once and I had a bass on and a massive, probably a 35, 40 inch pike. Followed the bass right in. It was just a little bass and I just felt it biting really hard. And, uh, yeah, and I looked behind it and there was a massive pike. So, there's a history of being big pikes here. So, I might as well just keep fishing for now. If this don't work for too much longer here, I'm probably going to have to make another switch. Maybe switch over to a chatterbait. That's why I caught a pike on last night when I was here. For the hell of it, I'm going to throw on a wacky worm. And if I can't catch nothing on that, then there's just no way. Um, I probably should have been live bait fishing if I was smart with like, you know, a bobber and some worms. But, uh, we don't do things smart here, so, yeah. <clears throat> I haven't rigged up a wacky rig since before deer season, I will say that. Sheesh. May switch over to the chatterbait, see what I can get done. So I was about to, so I was about to head out. A little old lure right there. I'm gonna roll my sleeve and see if I can get that. Okay, what the heck? This thing's sweet. Well, I guess it's not that cool, but um, little lure found. It's kind of cool, I guess. Get out the trusty KG pocket knife. Cut this line. Okay, I'm doing this really poorly. There we go. Huh, kind of cool. But anyway, anyways, guys, I'm in the warm truck now. Um, I'm probably gonna end this video here. Sorry we got skunked. Um, I tried my best. Um, I probably should have just went and got bait and used a bobber. But oh well, it's not about the fish we catch. It's about the journey along the way. And the journey was me freezing my butt off. But um, yeah, I guess you call this a fishing update, ice fishing update, whatever you want to call it. Um, hopefully we'll be out on the ice in the next couple weeks. We'll see. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later. Also, had to take a stop at the store. Celsius. Sponsor me.